Hi everybody, Mike McConville here, Stratford, Ontario, Canada. One more time. I have this guitar. I'm just getting ready to sort of pack this up and ship it back to Scott in Pennsylvania. I thought I'd give you a few tips about packaging. Because I get a lot of people shipping guitars to me, I thought it'd be worth taking the time to kind of go through this thoroughly. So I just went to my local store and picked up a few of these boxes for shipping. This is a typical dimension for an acoustic guitar shipping carton. Eight and a quarter by 20 by 45 or 45 and a half in this case. So what I have here is a little wooden block that I use to sort of trace uh, a hand grip into the side of the case. I've come in about 10 and a half inches to center. I lay that on there and trace that out with a Sharpie. You don't have to take the strings right off, but it's a good idea to just loosen them three turns. So this way the uh, strings are, are just taut enough to kind of hold the hardware in place during shipping. So I've got that, that high density foam block under there. That presses up on the underside of the weakest part of that neck to body junction joint. So during shipping when you close the case, it actually adds quite a bit of support there. So like I'd mentioned in that other video, the back tip of the headstock does not touch the bottom of the case. It's actually floating inside the case. There's a bunch of different types of materials you can use, you know, kind of like a high density foam, the bubble wrap. There's another type of bubble wrap. So this is what you use to pack the hard shell case into the shipping carton. Now Scott had done a pretty ingenious job of kind of packaging that so we're going to use the stuff that he sent. This is actually a new carton but I'm using the packaging he sent up from the old carton. I'll use the actual case itself to kind of push this into place. So essentially what we're after here is you want the instrument to be suspended in the case and then surrounded by the packaging. The idea for this is that when the carton itself gets a hit you want the actual hard shell case within the carton to shift slightly to dissipate whatever hit the outside of the carton is going to get. So this is what we have on the other end. and This is the packaging that Scott had actually done when he shipped it up. We're going to reuse that. Now before I do that, I'm actually going to take a lot of this other packaging and, and basically push it into the carton and surround the whole hard shell case with flexible packaging. I'm going to cut that bubble wrap push it well into the case to surround the instrument. The high density foam sort of underneath like so. I'm going to tuck it in like so. We kind of see where we're going with this. But we're going to just kind of tuck that in right at the very end. Look the case on. Now we can close that off. And when you take the box of course that kind of increases the rigidity and keeps the case square. So as you can see, it's not a super complicated process, but there are things that you definitely want to keep in mind to protect the instrument during shipping. You don't actually want the guitar to be packed too tightly, even in the hard shell case. It should be able to actually move a little bit if the, if the case gets a hit. It should be able to kind of shift a little bit within the hard shell case. And it's the same idea when you suspend the hard shell case within that shipping carton. You want the case to actually have the advantage to actually move a little bit if the if the carton gets a hit or it's jolted uh, during shipping. Now the other thing I wanted to mention is this is actually eight inches deep. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, customers that you know wanted to ship more than one instrument. Well, if you have a narrower 
a strat style case you, you could actually package two instruments in this one carton for those of you that are shipping up from the states it just means that there's basically one charge there's a ten thousand dollar limit so if you've got two guitars worth a thousand bucks a piece or whatever you can put them both in the same carton if they fit obviously um, the other thought is if you have a buddy that's a shipper at a warehouse that does this type of stuff all the time then he could probably package up both your guitars in one cart it'd be worth shooting up 50 bucks to do it because he basically takes that responsibility off off of your plate this is all food for thought one more thing you do want to have a packaging slip on the outside of the case that you can just basically throw on there and then whatever documentation you have in there you can slip it in that clear plastic window so these packaging slip bags you just grab them at the local here we get them at staples here in Canada. i don't know if, it's, if staples is a u.s store or not so all the information is there for customs or anyone else to be able to contact you a couple other things i want to mention about people shipping stuff directly to me this video is basically a video made for anybody that needs to ship musical instruments now in the case of people that are interested in shipping their instruments to me for any of my customers from the US because I use a broker that does all the paperwork so when we set it up I run in about a three to five week rotation but once we get it set up you don't lift a finger the expediter arrives at your door picks the package up all the paperwork is done in advance it goes to a warehouse in Port Huron on US soil where all the clearance papers are done ahead of time it comes directly to the warehouse here in Stratford all bonded employees heated warehouse and then I go and pick it up a couple of blocks away and the return trip same thing you don't lift a finger it's basically from your door to my door and back feel free to contact me and for anyone else that's doing this type of work, I hope this video is helpful in uh, getting people to pack up their instruments and ship them to you. We've got those, those grips that allow you to sort of pick the carton up and move it around. The idea here is you want to make it as easy as possible for everybody all the way down the line from the truck driver to the guys in the warehouse. You want to make it easy to handle, easy to pick up and those little finger grips they go a long way to make everybody's job easier because it's kind of an awkward size carton to move. It wants to sort of slip out of your hands, right? Yeah, so that's it. I hope that helps. Uh, this video is uh, specifically for you, Steve, because I know that uh, you had those, those two Gibsons you wanted to send up. Let me know, email me if you have any more questions, but I think that kind of basically covers it. And once again, if you've got a buddy that's a shipper that works in a warehouse, they do this stuff blindfolded. You can show them this video if you want. Anyway, cheers, everyone. See you next time.